Hey guys, Dino Mike Gaming here. I know this is probably not the best setup for a quick tutorial to start the video, but I wanted to thank Jan and our group so much for doing the first, uh, or just being one of the first people to make their own custom marquees for the Beastcades, and they came out phenomenal. I'm gonna show you guys them in the video coming up, but I wanted to show you how to easily add it to your system if you'd like these custom marquees. So it's very, very simple. You're gonna go to Jan's post in the Extreme Gaming Cabinets fan page. You're gonna go to the Google Drive that he provides. Uh, you can download it right here, uh, the active marquees. See, there's an N64 folder. And then you can see everything that uh, Jan put in. You're gonna download the entire folder, which you can do actually from the main part of the Google Drive. Right here, there's a download button. You're gonna download that whole folder. After you download it, you're gonna to go to that folder that you have here. All right, so you're gonna to head to your D drive, launch box, scroll down to videos, and then you're gonna find Nintendo 64. After that, you're gonna to head to marquees, and you're going to basically drag and drop all the files from the folder into the marquee section. So once again, D drive, launch box, videos, Nintendo 64. It's that simple. Once you do that, launch box, big box will recognize that you put these marquees in because the titles match the games and it'll automatically show up when you play them. Now I'm gonna show that off for you guys. All right, it's time to show off these N64 marquees that Jan has created. I'm ready to be blown away. I guess this will be like my own review of these. So let's start all the way at A first. Well, actually numbers come first. So yeah, we're gonna start all the way at the top. You just scroll over to numbers by doing left on the joystick. Not 007, not enough, doesn't have anything, but that's okay. You know, we're gonna be looking obviously for the other stuff. Let me center the camera. Hold on one second. We're gonna make sure we're focused on the screens. The buttons may look a little weird at this angle, so sorry if the buttons look a little strange, but I'll show them off at the end. Um, me and Mark put together something where the colors will show up at 50% strength, so you're not blinded by the LEDs in your face, and I actually prefer it this way. I think it looks nicer. So first, it also has that like wear type of look, so let's, let's move on here. So here's our first one, 1080 snowboarding. Man, does it look nice. Love the, love the like blizzard coming down in the background. And one thing I can already tell is Jan has these basically repeat. And uh, I mean, it looks phenomenal. So let's move on though. Nothing here. I'm trying to remember which ones have it. I mean, there's just so many games. Jan, you're telling me you didn't do it for the All-Star Baseball games? <laughs> But if anyone was curious about the N64 library, I guess here's a good taste of it. So here's our next one, Automobili Lamborghini. This looks like an interesting racing game on the N64, but this is a beautiful marquee here. I love this. It's nice and simple though too, all right? So let's keep moving. Got one for Banjo-Kazooie, great choice, Jan. One of my favorite N64 games for sure. Turned up the sound a little bit, but that's a really, really nice marquee. Got the jiggy on the top left, got Banjo and his bird. Beautiful. All right, let's keep moving. Nothing for Banjo to me, that's okay, it's the inferior game. I said what I said. I love the Battle Tanks games, by the way. If you guys have never played Battle Tanks, do yourself a favor and jump on one of those. They're really fun. Ooh, he's got one for Blast Boy. Pretty simple one, nothing crazy for this, but I do like the little flash that comes across the screen. Certainly a pretty neat one. I 
what I should have done is known more games, but that's okay, I'll go through. Like I said, you guys get to see the whole N N64 library. I owned a Bug's Life on the N64. I think the PlayStation one's probably better, though. That's kind of the problem with, with the N64, is if there's a PS1 version, it's it, it might be better, usually. <laughs> so, it, it depends, though. Games like Lover are way better on the N64 than they are on the PlayStation. So here's the next one, Center Court Tennis. Jan just made this one. I think it came out. This is probably one of the best ones I've ever seen. Uh, you have the ball spinning on the left side, and I just... I don't know, this is this is your one of your best marquees, honestly. I've never played this game, but it... I wonder if it holds a candle to, like, uh, Mario Tennis. I guess I'll find out at some point. Oh, Chameleon Twist has one, really. Can't say I've ever played this game. Once again, keeps it relatively simple, but it's nice on the eyes. Very nice if you were sitting down and playing to have that on top. I don't know what those little alien creatures are, but... Apparently there's a second chameleon twist game there, too. The chopper attack has one. Over a volcano or something here. Ooh, and, and also the, the uh, chopper attack dog tags have like a little shiny effect, too. That's pretty neat. Nothing for Clay Fighter? Oh man, I just did that in my video. Command and Conquer. Nice. Nice uh, marquee for this. Oh, Cruisin' has one. So this Cruisin' USA is another beautiful car one, Jan. I guess you like racing games, because uh, there's been a couple of these now. Was there one for Donkey Kong 64? Did I miss that? No, there wasn't. Was there one for Doom? Did I miss that? Ooh, Earthworm Jim 3D has one. Oh, I love this one, Jan. Got a little, like, stretchy effect on the Earthworm Jim logo. And he's in outer space flying on a rocket. He's moving around a little bit. I like that one. That's really nice. Apparently that game was a yellow cartridge as well. Interesting. I doubt he has one for this game, I've never heard of it. <laughs> but if you guys were curious, you know, of all the N64 games on the machine, here you go. I don't think you'll get a better look than this. And hopefully one day I can do another video where we have most of the marquees done. Oh, there's one for Fighting Force 64. Absolutely love this game. Fighting Force 64, big part of my childhood. I used to go over my friend's house uh, up the road from me and we would play this game almost every time I went. Dad and like NBA Street when uh, we got a little older, but he had the N64 and the GameCube and we played the heck out of Fighting Force 64. I don't know if this is the best version of the game and it probably didn't get good ratings, but I, I love this game. My boy Hawk in there. Call of the Legends has an N64 game too. I just did the, uh... ooh, he did one for Glover. Nice, he's got the, the castle in the background. I did a couple videos on Glover. I love this game. Big game from my childhood. The music. So good in this game if you've never played this game. It was made by Hasbro, actually, too, back in the day. Hasbro Interactive. We're getting through. We're in H's. So, hey, you Pikachu's probably not going to work on this system. There's no mic built in. You probably have to play that on a special setup. That's the thing about an all-in-one. You'll never be able to play every game. Just most. Oh, you don't want for Jeopardy. <laughs> of course. I would have been shocked if there was one for Daikatana. <laughs> Ooh, another perfect game. I don't think I missed one there. You guys can let me know if I missed one. I don't think I did, though. Probably nothing for the mountains. There we go. There's his Mario Kart 64 one. This is 
Yeah, this might be the best one on the console here that you did. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I love the animated uh, flag there in the middle with both sides. Honestly, I think you have something special here, Jan, with this uh, marquee. I think going forward, if you did more in this type of style, I don't know, there's something about it. I, I don't know. If you can repeat more like this one, this is just beautiful. This is probably, this is your nicest one, without a doubt. I think that's why you showed it off. You're showing off to us. Oh, a Mega Man 64 one. So here's your Mega Man 64 one. Got like a little lightning effect in the background. That's cute. I didn't even know there was a Mia Hamm soccer game. That's pretty funny. Micro Machine 64. So this is a pretty simple one again, but I like that middle flag type of movement design. Got a little bit of a blur effect on the side. Looks, looks cool. Oh, it's a Monopoly one. So I just played Monopoly in my video, by the way, but uh, that's a really nice Monopoly one. You got the dice and hat on the other side. I'm loving these, Jan, I'm telling you. Oh, there's a Mortal Kombat 4 one, too. Awesome, I didn't even know Mortal Kombat was on the N64. Once again, I'm learning. This is a nice one, I like this marquee. It fits well with the black, too, to be honest. Oh, there's a cup. There's Mortal Kombat trilogy on here as well. I didn't know Mortal Kombat got so much love on the N64. You learn everything every day. I mean, N64 was my first console, so you think I would have known this type of stuff? Oh, see, I knew you love racing games, Jan. There's just so many racing ones. NASCAR '99. Oh, look at those graphics. Oh boy. <laughs> that. I had NBA courtside. Oh, NBA hang time has one. This looks like uh, the arcade game a little bit, actually. That's cool. We got the basketball kind of pulsing in the back. That's neat. In the zone. I've never even heard of this series. There is NBA Jam on the N64. That's cool. Showtime. I didn't know they had all these blitzes on the N64 as well. Jeez, they had like four. Here comes all the quarterback clubs. I'm going to guess you have nothing for that. <laughs> okay, keep moving. Oh, you have something for this. Nightmare Creatures. Nice little flashing logo. Today. I've never heard of this game. Like I said, I'm an, I could do a whole series of N64 games I've never played, to be honest, because I may have had the console, but I was little and I didn't own a lot of games. I probably owned about 30. That's still a lot, but... So here's the Paper Mario one, which I think looks phenomenal. Um, it's even got a little, like, piece of paper at the end here that looks like you can pull. I love that. The little touches are nice. Thousand Year Door remake comes out on the Switch this month, by the way, I believe. So if you guys are interested in that, probably a good purchase. The Paper Mario series is my favorite series of all time. Anyone who knows me knows I love Paper Mario. It's fantastic. Pokemon Puzzle League, Pokemon Snap, all the Pokemon N64 games, guys, are so good. Stadium, oh man. You know what's funny? I don't see Stadium 2 here. That's weird. Yeah, I only see the first Pokemon Stadium. That's weird. Huh, I wonder if it's not in the wrong set. I guess it's not. That's weird. Pokemon Stadium 2, in my opinion, is probably the better of the two, and it's not here. Quake. 64. Rampage. Oh. Rugrats in Paris, Scavenger Hunt. I played those games on my channel. I don't know why, I just love the Rugrats games. All of them, any of them I've ever played. Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers is an absolute classic. The controls are terrible in that game, but I, I remember the black cartridge, so. I can sadly say I've played these Elmo games. They're not very good. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever play them again either, unless I'm forced to. I can't believe there was two South Park games on the N64. That's phenomenal. I'll have to play those at some point. 
Where's Rogue Squadron? This is the game. If you like Star Wars, Rogue Squadron is the game. Fantastic game. Oh, I just skipped a whole bunch. Oh, ready to rumble. I wonder if I missed any games. Hopefully I didn't. Ready to rumble boxing is, uh... Am I missing anything? Come on. Give me another one here. Oh, that's right, I already did these. I don't think you had anything for elbows yet, no. I already did this, I don't know why I forgot I did this. Yeah, I was already past this. Oh, there's gotta be something for Spider-Man, right? Or Space Invaders? Spider-Man on the N64 definitely brings back memories. Oh yeah, no, we were at Rogue Squadron, that's right. Okay. StarCraft had a 64 game. Here's Super Bowling. That looks that looks exactly like what I think it would look like. I've never heard of this game, of course, by the way, but. Disney's Tarzan. I don't think I played the Insane. I had the GameCube one. Ooh, Tetrasphere. Interesting. I guess this is one you like, huh, Young? Nice little background there. It matches too. I love the uh, I love how nice everything matches, Jan. It's very nice. Very like uh, it gives you a lot of the uh, ambience, I'd say. Ooh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six on here. That's a nice background. Got that like uh, night vision type of look to it. I like that. That's another game that had a uh, black hunt. So Tonic Trouble apparently has a uh, marquee. Some evil angry tomatoes up there. I've never heard of that game before. Ooh, Tony Hawk. These are really nice, Jan. Wow. And I remember the blue card for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Pro Skater 3 was probably my favorite though, or actually Underground 2. I loved Underground 2. That was much later though. Toy Story 2? Oh man. I love how you got Andy's room in the background with Buzz. That is a phenomenal marquee. You got a friend in me. Oh, that's phenomenal. Nothing for the Turoks. There's a lot of Turok games on here. Holy heck. And then it goes right to V. Okay. Oh, Vigilante has one. I've never heard of this game. Got like some rocky texture here. It looks like some. Once again, it's another shoot uh, racing game. Virtual chess. Is she holding a fish, Yon? What is this? I can't say I've ever heard of that game. All right, that might be it. Unless there's one for like Wayne, uh, Wayne Gretzky or Wave Race. Huh, maybe I maybe I missed one. I thought there was for a WCW game, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a different one. If you guys hear the sound effects too, I changed that on my big box. Oh, Worms Armageddon has one. I didn't even know Worms was on the N64. See, I'm learning so much today. That is a nice background there. I like that. Kind of got the explosion in the back. I love the Worms games. I don't know how they would play. They play best on PC probably though. Oh, here you go, Warzone. <laughs> Got some like TV effect there with Austin and Vince. Rest in peace, Vince. I mean, <laughs> he's not dead. He just got kicked out of the company. <laughs> well, he retired, right? But I won't get into that. So yeah, that looks about it for. Uh... Ooh, that's loud. Sorry about that, guys. That was very loud. Woof. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the new marquees Yon has made. Um, and I have no problem going over if someone's willing to make another batch for another console, let me know. Oh yeah, before I end the video, guys, I want to show you guys... There you go, here's Gauntlet Legends. So here's the marquee I made. You guys can quickly... You probably have seen the video on YouTube already, but just in case you're curious, here's a nice, you know, preview of the one I made on top. It's got a sword that goes across it. Obviously, like I said, maybe the video won't do it as much justice as I'd hope, but show the nice setup Mark has made for this game too. It looks absolutely excellent. We see there's some nice lightning on this. 
and then it goes right back to the main sort of uh, marquee there. So that's that'll be my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. This one's a nice long one of the N64 library and the new marquees that Jan put in. Hopefully I can do a video down the line of some of the new ones he puts in as well. I know he'll be working on it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you for another video in the future for more Beastcade videos.